What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about BCHG, LTCN, HSN, and GXLM at the request of VAC. Yeah, V-A-C, VAC, VAC. Um, LTCN is for me because nobody requested it, but I'm not going to not talk about it. Uh, HSN for Eddie Barrios, and then GXLM for Mr. Mark Black Fox himself. What's up, Mark? Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Let's get going. Let's get started. Let's do this. Um, actually, VAC, 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 uh, you requested that I do BCHG in comparison to BTC, so that's a bit interesting. We're going to start with this for now, and then we're going to move to the weird chart, okay? BCHG, hmm. Maybe it's found it slow, right? I keep going back and forth, but so does the price. I, I love it, man, when I get those comments that say, uh, you keep flip-flopping. It's like, well, the price flip-flops, man. Like, I, I was pretty confident back here that, that this was the low, and then, hey, we moved up. But then we held this downtrend, so it's like, well, if you find a lower high, what are you likely going to do? You're probably going to find a low, lower low, but you didn't. And you kind of look like you might be breaking the downtrend now. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. The daily RSI actually looks somewhat productive. But it's less reliable because you're, you're more or less neutral in your price movements. I don't, and you're at an area that would make sense to reject. You know, there's there's a lot of uh, conflictions in the chart right now, and this this fib scale doesn't look nice in my opinion. It would suggest that you go lower, but maybe you do go higher. I don't know. And I th I think BCH will move down lower. So perhaps you have one more move, one more move down for BCHG, perhaps. Perhaps you move down to like 715. I don't know if you go as low as 637. You could, but that's the expected range. If not, if I'm wrong, then perhaps you move down to about 890 to 868. It depends on how well you hold up versus BCH when this next move down comes. And I do think BCH is going to move down. Right? I mean, first off, the week, the RSI would suggest that. Um, the daily RSI would also suggest that, right? You've got a... You're up in this area where you were before, but you've got a discernible lower high. You reached for the sky yesterday and then came back down. It's just not a good look, right? You're, it's, it's like a fake out, but at the same time, Bitcoin Cash likes to toy with our hearts, man. It does. And it it rejected that 123. I remember saying, though, it doesn't like it's It doesn't really care about the 123 on the four hour. So I think that's just a coincidence. We'll chalk it up to that. Rejecting the overbought zone, at least that look right now. If BCH can continue to build today, um, then I do have faith that BCHG will continue to build and you actually might have a solidified low and actually be breaking out of this range. I'm not expecting that though. I do think that you'll move down. So I'm going to call for that. I think you are going to continue to move down. Let's do BCHG versus BTC, right? Um, did I post that other video? I did. Okay, cool. So I just autopilot sometimes. BCHG Coinbase, we can just use that. Yeah. And then enter right? That's what you, you wanted it versus BTC. It looks pretty similar, actually. Pretty damn similar. Yes, it does. That makes sense because BCHG is somewhat similar to BCH anyways. I'm, I'm a little bit more compelled to say that that is the low versus BTC. And you've broken out of your trend here. Actually, this chart is more bullish. So more bullish versus BTC would imply that BCHG holds up better than BTC, right? To be fair, though, it, it wouldn't be crazy if this moves down. Like temporarily it moves down, but then inevitably starts to move up. Um, to answer your question, though, VAC, Foc, I, I know I know you're thinking about selling your BTC for some BCHG. I'm not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You're the one that wants to do that. I'm just saying you've got my vote of confidence. I think it's a smart move, I think. This daily RSI looks nice. The weekly RSI looks good, too, I think. Um, this It looks like it's actually – this is like a breakout candle of this move. It, it looks like it wants to move up, yeah. So that's a good look, actually. For anybody holding BTC and you're thinking about, oh, look at that, too, right? Your last checkpoint right there, beautiful. I love these like odd charts, man. Resistance at your support area. Whenever you move back up here, you're probably gonna break past that, and then likely you would go to this top area here, um, somewhere you know up in this. Well, that that's not accurate, but somewhere up there, um, relative to BTC, you're you're probably gonna do like a four X versus what BTC does. So nice, good job, good job, yeah. Um, anyways, LTCN is the next one. LTCN doesn't look as good. It, it does not look as good, actually. 
Um, I actually do like LTC. This is something you guys, on my last video, and if you guys didn't see it, I'm sure a lot of you did, but if you didn't see this video that I made on Litecoin, let me find it here. Um, Litecoin 100x 6k price targets. That's not just a gotcha grab your title. I actually mean that like for the first time. Oh, wow Maybe you have seen this video <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe a few of you have seen it That's that's one of the more you know in these boring times I don't get views like that anymore, right? Like you can see people like Bitcoin cash of course that might be some grayscale trust people obviously too But I don't get those like I used to get 900 to 2,000 views like on average on a lot of the videos, but this I think these boring times or maybe it's my shitty attitude, man. I've been I've been very sleep deprived lately. Um, you know what? Whatever the reason is, I think it's the boring times. I hear I hear YouTubers say that across the space, but uh, uh, I was gonna I was going I was alluding to the idea that th that in my Litecoin video, something that I didn't mention. Well, I, I did mention it, but it's something that I, I want to like address right now. I think that's the low for Litecoin. It's one of the like cryptos that I analyze regularly that I'm more confident has found its low versus like the rest of the market. I'm not saying it can't go down from here. It's at 68 bucks. I'm not saying it's just gonna move up right now. But with this look, I, I feel very confident that it found its low. It's, that's its low. No need to take the fibs here. I think, I really think that's its low. I guess we can take a little fib from a low to a high. 61869 area, beautiful. You got all the, yeah, dude, that's, that's the low. So LTC is not gonna move lower. I would be surprised if LTCN moved lower. It's it's kind of funny because to me, this looks more. Uh, it's I guess it's not more bullish. I was gonna say it looks more bullish. It's it's well above this low, but that low is way back in June. This low is like I mean, this is on a daily basis, so it's it's probably actually, it's it's like the exact same. So so all that to say, all those confusing words to say, I think LTC has found its low. I don't think it's gonna move lower. It could move lower from its current price. Um, but that gives me confidence that LTCN might have found its low too. And if not, if you go lower than this, I don't think you'll go much lower. So you're at 1948, the daily RSI does not look the best. It doesn't look the best. It would kind of indicate that you move down a little bit more. Perhaps you move back down to like 18 bucks, 16, 70, somewhere, somewhere in there. You could even move a little lower, but I wouldn't really expect that personally, though these grayscale trusts are more volatile than the, uh, the actual underlying assets, but you're holding support at this previous resistance point right in the middle of this zone. I'm gonna say that that's your low. You're just looking for a breakout at some point. When will that happen? I don't know. You know, Whenever we've found our low across the market, but your next target area would really be like $22.20, then 26, 34, then 34, 35, 37, dollars $38. And then when you break that, all-time highs, that's, or, well, not all-time highs, new session highs, I should say. I think LTCN is looking fine. It's just biding its time. It's being boring right now. Um, I bet it'll slowly creep and crawl and work its way up slowly is my thoughts. Unless LTC just takes off, which it, it really could do at any moment. HSEN for Grayscale or for, for Eddie. Uh, let's see here. HSEN looks like it wants to move up, actually. I think it does. And that makes sense because Zen looks kind of good too. Yeah, I think HSN does want to move up probably to like six seventy two to seven dollars thirty cents. Previous resistance point back here. That is the six one eight area, but this is where your low was drawn, so it wouldn't have you know back here. It's it's a different kind of. I guess it is your six one eight six nine still, but it's more like in captured by it there. Um, previous areas of resistance, support, resistance, all that stuff to say. Uh, it's funny, man. I get, I get, I've gotten a lot of negative comments lately, and I, I honestly think it's because I got this one guy whose whose ass is chapped, because uh, I didn't fall for his scams. But you know, that's just how scammers are, man. Whenever you don't fall for their stuff, they, they, they get all pissy. They're like, I wanted to get your money. But anyways, um, people like try to make fun that I use the fib, and they they act like it's the only thing that I do. But every every time I use the fib, right? Like they clearly don't watch the videos or they just see what they want to see or that or maybe they're just not smart enough to understand what I'm saying. But like I just said here, we got the 618. But if I put a line right here at this resistance point, right, what I said afterwards was it's also an area that we found resistance, resistance, support, support, right? I don't just use the fibs, right? Whenever we're in price discovery and there's nothing else going on, I will just use the fibs because that's all we have. We can calculate a trend we can kind of assume by a trend as well and then we can do the market cap calculations which i do that too but there's really not much whenever it comes to uh 
projecting outward there's really not much that you can do i mean there's there's there are other things but i feel most comf comfortable using the fibs but whenever i'm doing stuff in price action that's like relative to things that we've already done i look for price action to agree to you know the 618 it's not just some random number um here i mean and it, first off it's not just a random number it is the golden ratio in the of the universe it's like this reoccurring code that just keeps happening throughout nature psychology everything man it's it's literally like the the code of our universe is the golden ratio but not only that we have significance coincidentally at that area so um, all that to say i think that's where we're going to move up next inevitably i think this will be a break of this uh, trend down and then you'll probably just continue to move up higher so when you break above that high to low whenever you break above 672 to 730 that range you're probably going to move 1431 to 2135 somewhere in that range over the days over the weeks over the months you know however long it takes but up eddie up up gxlm mark black fox you were saying you like this one it looks good right maybe that's what you said let me see let's see here marky mark where are you none of these guys are mark where are you at mark i thought you were on okay there you are the trust is getting cheap. Oh, okay. So that makes more sense, actually. It is, it is getting cheap. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, let's look. Let's look at it. I like that, right? It's not looking bad. It's getting cheap. I like that. That's that's the right way to think of it. Um, if you're looking, you know, if if you think it'll do well, if it's uh, it's something that you think has promising aspirations, and I think it does. I think it looks like it wants to move up. You know, whether it moves lower first and then up or whatever, I think it. I definitely think it does want to move higher. Um, there seems to be some interest in this. The weekly RSI, it's at, it's, I mean, it's pretty boring. It could go a little lower. It, would, it wouldn't be crazy. It wouldn't be crazy for it to go a little lower. Yeah, right in that gap area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, a little lower. Let's say 25 to 22. You're at 28.30 now. A little lower. Let's let's use this. I bet this even agrees with us. Low to high. Yeah. Yep. Yep. If you move up from here, okay. If you do, the highest I would give you is like thirty-three dollars fifty cents, and then lower. So just because you move up from here doesn't mean that it's absolved from going lower. Um, and I, I kind of would expect even that you move up anywhere from like thirty-one fifty to thirty-three fifty, but then probably twenty-five fifty to twenty-three dollars somewhere in that range. I, I like I like both of those numbers as as a potential low, yeah. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. So if you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. I really wouldn't be surprised if this move up moved up a little bit right first and then moved down. Um, and yeah, guys, that, that's all I got to say. So take care. Thank you all for being here, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. But oh 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 my goodness! For those of you that are still watching that didn't sign off, I'm sorry. I do this, dude. I I don't I don't plan these videos out. They just happen. But I know the question has come up, and I've, I meant to address it. And I'm sorry I forgot. I was just in my head here doing things. Um, yeah, if Litecoin moves to $6,000, and I had someone, I would give you a shout out. I'm trying to think. You know, let's see. Where are we at? I don't. Nope, those, those, are, those are hate words that somebody said. Okay, so let's see. Draxer, Dr. Axer. Uh, you know, you were talking about what, what does it mean if I think LTC could go to 6,000? What does that mean, you know, for LTCN? And the thing is, you guys, whenever, whenever you see, and I'm on the right one, yes, I am. Whenever you see that video, right, that price prediction saying 6,000 price targets, and it really, I meant it, I mean it when I say that, I really do. It's the first time all cycle, all like in over a year now that I've, I genuinely consider LTC could see prices above 2,500. But that's at its cycle peak. Likely, the grayscale trust will not peak at the same time. So likely what's going to happen is wherever this, high, don't, don't calculate where you think the high would be for this based off of $6,000, right? Calculate it off of $2,500, right? Which if it, if it is, then Hey, you, you might be up in this area still, right? That's, that's where I, that's why I got this in the first place. I kind of, I made that mistake myself and I was like 2,500, it's definitely going to go up here, but it's like, wait, the LTCN is probably going to top off before it reaches 2,500. I just want to say um, that video that I did with all the math and like the uh, um, comparisons of the premiums 
where I had all those price targets that are below here. That's all very solid information. And every everything I did, I mean, you can watch the video if, if you can keep up with the math and stuff, right? If it makes sense to you. It's not it's not just baloney. Like it, there, there's, I, I put work into that, right? I put effort into that, serious effort into that. Um, but this new evidence that I found in Litecoin that does suggest that it could go higher, and I'm, I'm actually pretty convinced that it could. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm pretty convinced, like I wouldn't bet money that it goes to $6,000. I just, I wouldn't bet against it, man. And I, I do think you really have a chance of doing that. Um, and if you do, then absolutely uh, Litecoin could melt faces and LTCN could see these these expected ranges. I don't think it'll see 15,600. I don't think that, but perhaps 5,000 to 2,400 or 2,300 would be back on the table. Absolutely, those targets are back on the table. So yes, I meant it when I said in that video, LTC might outperform BCH. If LTC outperforms BCH, LTCN is likely gonna outperform BCHG. That's, you know, that's the plain and simple fact of the matter. And actually, if we look at this right here, from a low point, is that the low? Let's, let's take that low to the high point. 2,600% for LTCN, BCHG, sorry. 2,600, right? BCHG, it looks like it grew more actually. Is that right? Is this right? So I guess BCHG did grow more than LTCN so far, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Good job, BCHG people. Wow, seven thousand four hundred and I didn't expect that. I thought it was, huh? I thought LTCN had more growth for some reason. But yeah, LTCN could inevitably by the end of the cycle, um, especially from the relative prices, grow more than BCHG. But I do have to say, two thousand six hundred versus BCHG's uh, seven thousand. You know, this far in the cycle, maybe BCHG does still outperform LTCN overall, and perhaps even from this current point. I don't know. It, it depends. If LTC sees some crazy stuff, if it breaks above this range, you know, it's it's going to do well. It's going to do very well um, for LTCN as well. So, uh, all that all that to say, as as off point as I might have gotten, those original Fib targets that I had from over a year ago now, I had about. Two thousand three hundred to five thousand dollars. They're back on the table. Absolutely, they're back on the table, um, and as are still on the table. The targets below here. At its worst, you're going to get a forty something X or or a thirty something X, right? At its best, it could be a lot more than that. So, take care, guys. That's all I got for you. Hit that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.